serious condition, but we're all confident that he's going to make it. They need to use practically all the blood that you gave, Martha. If it wasn't for you, the news I'd be telling everyone would be a lot different. You're definitely the reason why Jack's still alive. Wake up, Jack. God. Are you hurt? What, what, what happened? What, 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 what's wrong with him? Did you find the guys that took him? Or? I'm not sure you're going to believe it, to be honest. He's waking up! Jack? Jack, can you hear me? It's Rachel. Jack? Jack, can you hear me? It was their call. Well, they had nothing to do with the decision to go into witness protection. And I'd have played things differently if I had the choice. I never meant to put any of you through the pain of me coming back. OK, but I had to step in when Drew was in danger. I saw the chance to get my life back. I just... I decided to take it. You shot Gillen, in other words? Not intentionally. Well, what happened? How'd you get away? Well, after you ran, Gillen was distracted just long enough for me to take a risk, so I went for the gun. You tried to him? Overpower him, yeah. We struggled, the gun went off, and he was the one who didn't get up. Well, what about the other guys? What happened to them? They just took off, scared. They were just a couple of goons for hire, you know? They didn't want to be involved in something like that. So you're safe now? Yeah. Dennis was the only one who was after me. This is crazy. But I'm sorry, I'm not saying it's a bit... It's hard to get your head around it, that's all. Dan. Dan. Mate, please, I just... Dan, don't! You're doing really well. Can you squeeze my hands for me? That's the way. Good, good. What the hell? It's my boy. Come on. Jack, don't try and sit up, okay? Just try and relax. Yeah, I'm right here, Jack. I'm right here, mate. It's okay. Jack, you've just come out of an operation. You've lost a lot of blood. So you need to let me know if you're in any pain, okay? When I heard that gun go off, I thought. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, mate. You shouldn't have had to go through any of that. The only thing I wanted all along was to protect you. Look, I know it's been a rough time, and I do apologise for bringing all this down on your head. You couldn't help it. You really would have given up your life for me today, wouldn't you? Without question. Jack's picking up. They couldn't shut him up by the time I left the hospital. I know. It's amazing. I was so relieved when he opened his eyes. Were you? Oh, well, it was hard to tell when you did that disappearing act from the hospital. Well, I had to start my shift. I think under the circumstances, a simple phone call would have soon got a replacement in. Well, it felt like the right time to leave, and he had enough people there. So. Love, I'm not having a go at you, uh, but I did notice you were struggling with how you were going to react to him when you first saw him, so if there's anything you want to talk over... There's nothing I need to talk about. Fair enough. But it wouldn't surprise me if what's happened to Jack has made you realise that you're still in love with him. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that an accident has made someone realise how they really feel. Look at Leah and Dan. I'm right, aren't I? Actually, Grandad, it's the opposite. It's made me realise I don't love him at all anymore. Yeah, statements are done. It's over. I hope I never see the inside of that police station again. Except when you're visiting me. <laughs> I'm going to grab a shower. Sure. It's OK. He's not home. I just wanted to drop Drew off, but I wasn't sure about the reception I'd get. Yeah, he went for a walk. I tried to talk him round, but he's really upset. Well, I don't blame him, Leo. I'd be pretty upset, too. Yeah, well, it's still not fair on you, though. Having to deal with this isn't fair on any of us. What are you doing here? He dropped Drew home. OK, well, go. Dan, you've been really unreasonable. Pete, it's okay, Leo. I should go. I didn't have time to react when you attacked me. 
to cut up on us, don't you? Whoever did this to you made, meant business, all right? So you couldn't have stopped him if you wanted to. Peter Baker's alive. We, we know. You know. So I was right. He's been in witness protection all along. Yeah, it's weird, hey? How do you know? Has he come back to the bay? Well, we don't know the details, just the news. But, but look, now's not the time to be worrying about that, Jack. You've just come out of major surgery. Mm, we're just so relieved that you're all right. Yeah, if it wasn't for Martha giving you blood, you might not be. That's how close it was. Martha donated blood. She saved your life. Is she here? Um, she, she was when you woke up, but she's gone now. I think she's got a shift at the bar, and she's going to be exhausted too because she's been at your bedside all day. How's my favourite patient doing? Yeah, great now. Uh, good to hear. So, how long am I going to be in here for? Um, well, once you've had further surgery, we'll then have to begin rehab. Rehab? What for? OK, first things first, eh? Hey? You heard what Rachel said, you need some rest. Yeah, OK. OK, I'll, I'll be back soon and uh, we'll talk then. Recovery might not be as straightforward as you think, Jack. Dad, he needs to know. What do I need to know? Um, Jack, this, this injury to your back is, is pretty bad. You know, it's actually affected your spinal cord. And they're not 100% sure how their recovery's going to go yet. But, but look, after this other operation and, and all the rehab and stuff, there's... There's every likelihood you're going to get back to full capacity. Or at least near full capacity, anyway. What if things don't get well? No, we'll make sure they do. Dad, just tell me. What is the worst that can happen? Well, there's a chance, Jack. There's a really slight chance that you may not walk again. Sleep. You're shocked by what I said before, aren't you? Sad, but not shocked. I really believed our trial separation was just that, a trial. But after today... But the way you, you raced out of the hospital, you must still feel something for Jack. Of course I do. But it's different. When he got hurt on our wedding day, I was sick to my stomach with worry. The feelings I had for him were so strong. This time I care, of course I do, but not like a lover, not like a wife, or like... A friend? I never thought my feelings for him would change, ever. But they have Grandad. How am I supposed to stay married to him when I don't love him anymore? We thought Peter died. All you kept saying was that you wasted all that time being angry at him rather than spending that time together. Now, you really want to make that same mistake again? What, why are you having to go at me? I'm not the one in the room. Because you're being crazy, Dan. Well, so you don't think I have a right to be upset with him? Yes, upset, of course you do. And, and shocked, absolutely. But being angry and aggressive over something that wasn't even Pete's fault, it's just being silly. OK, well, that's your opinion. I happen to think my reaction is quite valid. Yeah, well, I think you're being self obsessive oh, well, don't, don't hold that. Well, someone's got to tell you. How do you think Pete feels? Well, I don't give a... Yeah, that's obvious. But if it was me, I'd like to think that my brother would be happy that I wasn't dead instead of wallowing in self-pity. I heard you guys fighting. I didn't want to interrupt. Big fan of Dad's. You know that. I used to think it was selfish how he'd put his work first. At boarding school, I'd lie awake hating him for not caring about me. But I know for a fact that he was willing to lay down his life for me today. He put me first, and that's all I ever wanted. And you're willing to go now? Yeah. And if you're not, that's going to make things hard. Not just for me and him, but for you and me too, Dan. And the way I see it, that's just as important. Isn't there some way you can forgive him? 